bigger point then is it's all about the idea. That's really the essence of what I want to say. Your job as a speaker <clears throat> isn't to entertain, tell stories, promote your organization, da da da. It's to offer your audience a gift, a gift in the shape of an idea that you literally teleport from your mind into theirs. If you can do that, you've given them something that may impact their behavior literally years into the future. Because that's what an idea is. An idea is a piece that makes up our mental operating system. Ideas come in all shapes and sizes, from the simple to the complex, the analytical to the beautiful. I'm going to show you a few that have been shared on the TED stage. You may recognize some of these. And the thing is, if you could actually physically see what these ideas looked like in the speaker's mind, you'd see a complicated pattern made up of literally millions of neurons. And the fact that that entire pattern can be transferred wholesale into the audience's minds strikes me as a complete miracle. I mean, how on earth is that possible? Well, the truth is, it usually doesn't happen. It doesn't work. Most talks are a bust. I'm going to share with you a TED talk I, I, saw, I found on the internet. In this case, it's, it's Ted Poe. He's a, a congressman. You can just about see him there. Uh, a fine congressman, no doubt. Everyone can have a bad day. Uh, it is an honor to... Uh once again, uh, sponsor uh, this Domestic Violence Awareness Month uh, resolution. I want to commend uh, Judge Green for uh, working with me on this issue. I mean, just, just a simple tip you won't find in the book. If you're going to give a really important talk on an important subject on live television, don't put your grandson in the row behind you. Don't do that. I mean, just pull the wake-up call that didn't work. I mean, this poor kid. This kid stands for all of us. I mean, how many talks have we sat through in conferences, in politics, in business, university, church? So boring, you know. But it doesn't have to be that way. But how do you break through boring to get to that moment where the idea actually transfers? Well, there's actually no one way to do this. This is why I can't emphasize this strongly enough. There is no formula to giving a great talk. There are no rules. What there are are tools, though, that I, I'm convinced are teachable, um, tools that you can pick from to construct the talk that you want to give. And so I'm just going to show you a few of these tools in action. Here's one. You don't have to spend the first three minutes thanking everyone and their mother for how wonderful it is to be here and how honored deeply you are, because it's lovely to do that, but it's kind of boring for everyone else. We're in an attention war. We're living in it. Even right here, right now, you hold in your pockets lethal weapons of mass distraction. I mean, once those come out, I'm sunk. And so are the three people behind you. you know, it, so you've got to try and grab people from the start. Here is um, Mason Zaid. She's a comedian who suffers from cerebral palsy due to a botched medical accident at her birth, a medical procedure at her birth. She came onto the stage literally shaking and swaying, but she started to talk like this. My name is Maysoon Zayed, and I am not drunk, but the doctor who delivered me was. Boom! <laughs> One sentence, and she owns us. Artists can do this, too. You might want to take a closer look. There's more to this painting than meets the eye. And yes, it's acrylic painting of a man, but I didn't paint it on canvas. I painted it directly on top of the man. I'm not saying that you have to literally sock people in the eyes with a dramatic opening sentence. You have about a minute. Within a minute, you need to give them a sense of what idea you want to build and why you should be allowed to do it. After all, people are naturally a little skeptical about letting a complete stranger poke around inside their minds. You have to win their trust first. How do you do that? Well, show them a little bit of who you are. There's actually many ways to do this. Um, tell an anecdote. Uh, a little humor is great. Um, some vulnerability. 